Hey Sagittarius, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do a weekly reading for you for May 18th through the 25th. All right, so we're gonna start with two oracle cards. Everything is pink and purple, yes. It has, you know, both of those colors, the pink, you know, can be with the heart chakra, okay? So coming from a place of I love. And the purple is usually um, represented by the crown chakra, which is a knowing. So it's about knowing, knowing about love, having a knowing about love, you know? And a lot of these readings, I feel like are a little bit more connected to the above and beyond, okay? So that's where the messages seem to be coming from. Maybe people that have passed on are supporting you. The messages feel very supportive this week. All right, so let's see what we have here. All right, so we have the Akasha. Your guidance is divinely guided. You know, this is, this is so true. Um, you know, if you allow yourself to surrender to divine guidance, your life gets much easier almost immediately. And then we have, what do we have here? Look at this. Trust the timing. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. I love that. So, in other words, surrender your guidance is divinely guided and trust that you that the wave that you came in on time is not running out trust the timing and trust the universe is what this is saying so you might be in the energy a little bit of you know resisting what is or feeling like something isn't happening the way that you feel like it should well you're being divinely guided, so everything is working out exactly the way it's supposed to, in the exact timing that it's supposed to. All right, so let's see. You are going to be represented on the top. Your person will be represented on the bottom, of course, in a general reading. Those two can be switched if you need to if it resonates the other way around that's fine that can happen I can't shuffle these cards these cards are too thick for my hands all right so let's see this is for your person, Sagittarius. All right, so what do we have? Ten of Swords. Okay, so this feels like a lot of frustration. This feels like, um, you know, like what I was just saying, like you feel, you might feel frustrated um, that things aren't coming together the way that you hoped, the way that you wanted. Things might feel out of whack for you. And sometimes when things feel, sometimes at their worst, that's because you're getting that much closer to getting what you want. So it feels like things are in a little bit of turmoil for you. You might feel like the, the world or the universe has it in for you. It doesn't, okay? But sometimes it definitely feels like that. You might feel like the, the universe or the world is betraying you right now. Things might be falling apart. But you know what? Whatever has happened, the worst of it's over. Ten of Swords says the worst of it's over. You know, there could have been, this could mean anything. There could have been a lot of loss. There could have been, 
again, a lost job, a lost, you know, connection, relationship. You might feel that somebody betrayed you. Whatever it is, it was meant to go down the way it did. And now it's meant to be released because the worst of it's over. Page of Pentacles. Okay. So you're looking for a new window of opportunity. Maybe a new window of opportunity with this person. A new window of opportunity in life in some way. We'll see. And then we have Ten of Pentacles. All right. So look at that. So this is, you know, this is very, um, this is kind of profound, actually. You know, because it's saying basically that something happened that you might have considered maybe one of the worst experiences of your life. You had to go through that. Now it has passed. We're looking for a new window of opportunity. And what's on the horizon? Ten of Pentacles. So this might come a lot faster than you think. Ten of Pentacles is abundance in everything. Family, love, money, career. So even though there might have been a huge setback here for you, it was because this was waiting on the other side or is waiting on the other side. And your guidance is divinely guided. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. Time is just an illusion. All right, so what about this person down here? What's going on? Six of Pentacles. Justice. Slippery cards. And... Page of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like when it comes to your person, I feel like um, there might have been kind of a, an imbalance between the two of you for whatever reason. One person could have been giving more than the other when, whenever this connection was happening or happened. Um, justice, you know, it's like, you can see how she's holding those scales. This side of the scale is about the past. This side of the scale is about the future. And this sword here, this sword is about the truth. So for this person, where does their truth lie? Does it lie in the past or does it lie in the future when it comes to you? You know, I mean, Six of Pentacles, Justice, both are cards about balance. You know, where, how do we balance this out and what are we balancing out? The Justice card is also about, you know, contractual obligations. Does this person down here have a contractual obligation to, you know, to somebody else or to a business partner? Is this person down here um, married or are they getting a divorce, one or the other? So, you know, this could very well be representative of this timing when it comes to trusting the timing it feels like um, something around timing has to do with this because again these scales represent past or future which direction does she want to go in now we have the page of pentacles for this person as well so both of you are looking for a window of opportunity possibly back to each other All right, so let's see. All right, so let's clarify for you the Page of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, okay? I don't know that we really need to focus on that Ten of Swords because it's over. I don't usually clarify the Ten of Swords. All right, so let's see down here. 
We want, we definitely want to clarify the Six of Pentacles, the Justice, and the Page of Pentacles for this person. All right, so Page of Pentacles for you. Lovers. What's the window of opportunity that you're looking for? Lovers. You are looking to... Lovers is about the connection and the attraction, okay? So that is there with this person for you, okay? You're looking for an opportunity to see, does this connection still exist? Is it still there? And when, when we come down here to trust the timing, trust the wave you came in on, time is not running out. So if you're questioning whether or not somebody is still an opportunity for you, it feels like they absolutely are. Ten of Pentacles, clarified by the chariot. So when you up here, when you follow what your heart authentically wants, that's what brings you Ten of Pentacles. That could be what this is about, this Ten of Swords. You know, for the longest time, you were either not with the person that you wanted to be with, you were doing a job you didn't want to do, you were around people that you felt were phony, and, you know, eventually, you know, this could be about, you know, for the longest time, you betrayed yourself. And now it's about looking for the window of opportunity of where you really connect with somebody. Where you might not have in the past. You know, there are so many superficial relationships. There are so many relationships about keeping up with the Joneses, if you've heard that term. You know, um... Sometimes the, those things are so important to people and they really mean nothing. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter what car your neighbor drives and it doesn't matter, you know, it, it just doesn't, that stuff doesn't matter. And, you know, you might have had a realization that certain things don't matter to you anymore and that's perfectly okay. All right, so Six of Pentacles for this person. Clarified by Four of Wands. Okay. So, first of all, this person could have been married, okay? They could have been, you know, giving a lot of attention to somebody else. And yet, they still saw long opportunity or long-term opportunity with you. I feel like this person might have been confused in the past they didn't necessarily know. I'll tell you what it is. It's like they knew they found you, the right person, but for them it was the wrong time. Justice clarified. Look at the chariot. So I feel like because the chariot is about moving forward. So that tells me that the justice card is more heavily weighted on the side of the future. So this person is leaving somebody, somebody behind. So, and justice can also mean divorce. So very likely this person, you know, is divorcing or leaving somebody behind so they can follow their heart. And you have the chariot up here as well. Uh, so uh, the two of you following your heart and the card number of the chariot is seven. So it's like seven, seven, heaven sent. Heaven sent towards ten of pentacles. All right, page of pentacles for this person. All right, page of pentacles, remember, is about a window of opportunity, all right? 
for you, it's about the lovers. For this person right now, Page of Wands is, or Page of Pentacles, I'm sorry, is Ten of Wands. You can see this guy in the Ten of Wands, he's facing the past. So I feel like the burden of the past for this person is really heavy. Something that happened in the past, either with the person that they're leaving behind or with you, they might, you know, feel this heavy burden because Page of Pentacles can also um, be the card of limitations, identifying what limitations are. So I feel like more so for this person, the Page of Pentacles is about focusing on what limits this connection. That is... You know, that is not the greatest energy from this person, but I feel like this chariot is what wants to override this. But I feel like this person goes between their limitations and their heart's desire. All right, so uh, here. Let's identify what this burden is for this person. The star, exactly. Look at that. So this person's heart's desire, you being their heart's desire, because we have the chariot here, clarifying justice, they want to move forward, they want to move towards their heart's desire, exactly. But Ten of Wands, this burden of limitation, you know, it's like they have to get through this, I feel like the Ten of Wands might represent the actual divorce process first. That's what's separating the window of opportunity, opportunity and their heart's desire. All right, so let's pull a, a major arcana for this whole reading. So this deck actually includes all of the major arcana, but it includes the dark and the light side of the Major Arcana. All right, we have, wow, we have the light side of the Magician. Beautiful. So, going back to these first cards, you are divinely guided. Guess what? The magician says that you are connected to all of the source that you need in order, both of you are, you're connected to all of the source energy that you need to move this chariot energy forward. That's the two cards that we got for each of you, page of pentacles and the chariot. One is about looking for the window of opportunity and one is about moving towards what your heart desires, moving forward. You both want that, okay? You're both looking for that opportunity and you both want that. It's divinely guided, okay? You are manifest, you're both manifesting this between each other. And then all you have to do, again, is surrender and trust the timing. Trust the wave you came in on. So, you know, it might feel all discombobulated. It might feel like this is not meant to be. Or you might have talked yourself into that. But guess what? Time is not running out. So if you thought time was running out, it is not. This is here for the taking. And that's beautiful. All right, Sagittarius, that is what I have for you for this week. Um, I'm sorry it's coming out on Wednesday. Uh, you know, I don't talk a lot about what I do um, outside of, you know, of the readings too much. But I do, I, I do have a lot going on. So I apologize that, you know, the readings are coming out a little bit spotty on a weekly basis. I love doing them. Um, you know, I might have to restructure a little bit and figure something out so I can be a little more consistent. But Anyway, I hope you have a great week, and um, I might talk to you again on Friday. If not, have a lovely Memorial Day weekend for those of you in the United States, and I will talk to you next time. All right? Much love.